It's the Janky Ass Podcast, everybody. More importantly, more specifically, it is our second to last week with Tom as a regular co-host, unfortunately, but you know, life just gets in the way. However, what should not get in the way is you enjoying this show. So what you should do is go to the corner, like and subscribe to Multimerity Media. That is this channel that you're watching right now on YouTube. Or, I mean, if you're listening, then just subscribe on whatever podcast app you have. Because we're, I'm on all the major ones. You know, your Spotify, Pandora, iTunes, a bunch of other ones in between. And also, if you stay to the end of the episode, you will see ugh, several links, including the one to my website, multimerdymedia.com. Check it out. And I also have some more business cards on the way. Speaking of which, because the old ones that I got, well, A, I mean, they, they kind of sucked, but I only got them because I could put a QR code in there. But it turns out that you have to have a running subscription to keep a QR code active, which I didn't know about. So I got a bunch of, uh, bunch of cards that are just a waste, unfortunately. It's unfortunate, but I got some new cooler ones in the way that don't have a QR code, so I didn't make that mistake. As much as I would like to, I mean, it, it would be easier, but you know, I'm not, I'm not paying for that. It's like, it's like 15 bucks a month. Screw that. Anywho, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, but here on YouTube, you will have this playlist, which of this show, my podcast. And you will also get a few other ones, including like hobbies and video games, stuff like that. Go check it out. And I'm working on new material as we speak. Well, in general. Also, here in California, it's... Well, today's Valentine's Day, actually. I'm recording this, which you will see tomorrow. So, yesterday was Valentine's Day, I guess. And it is already tank weather. So... <clears throat> Sorry, I got something in my throat. Hold on. Actually, I'm getting a... Uh, I, I always have a stuffy nose in the morning. It's kind of... I don't know. Whatever. Speaking of stuffing, I'll be stuffing my face. Got another beer. Finally got my hands on this one. This is another... Uh, one from Belching Brewery. Belching Beaver. Brewery, another Deftoads collaboration. This is the uh, the Beauty School Pilsner. The nice uh, friendly face on there. Big old red lips. I already tried one of these earlier. I got uh, two four packs. So all the good stuff comes in four packs. And this one was already open. I took a sip last night and then got high and passed out. As you do. But yeah, a nice, nice uh, golden Pilsner color. It is a little on the tangy side, but it's not bad. I like it. And I mean, as I've said before with other ones, you know, I like Delft Tones, I like Belching Beaver, and I like beer. So it's a good combination for me. I haven't seen them. I wonder... I wonder when if they're touring yet. Let's find out. Where is it? I use the Bands in Town app for everything show related, even though I haven't actually gone to any shows recently. I kind of want to... Oh, let's see. Upcoming. Okay, they're going to be at the Greek Theater in April. Tickets, tickets, get tickets. Oh, good. No, I don't. Fuck out of here. Okay. Tickets. Ticketmaster. Let's see what is available. Oh, fuck. $250 is the minimum. Or actually, wait. Yeah. Yeah, there's only resale tickets left. That's horse shit. Let me see. 
Sold out or unavailable? Sold out or fuck you. All right, well, there's another one I'm missing. Oh, shit. Anywho. But at least, you know, I don't know. <laughs> but I, 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 you, you shouldn't, I, I guess I'm going to have to, well, I'm still looking for, you know, a new co-host for later. Hopefully we can do like some stuff live here in my office or whatever it turns into after the summer when my living situation changes. Uh, but I guess I'll have to go back to solo episodes for a little bit. <clears throat> it's been a while since I've done that. But as long as, you know, you don't miss any episodes, don't miss any material, and don't miss a good beer. So for now, I'll go ahead and tune out for a second. We'll get back to me and Tom, and then I'll pop in again. But either way... You know, listen through to the end. Like I said, my links are at the end of the episode, also in the show notes. And, once again, right here in the corner. So, check it out. And here we go. Me and Tom. There you go. <laughs> well, I am picking up the mantle for the time being, so. Yeah. Oh, the Space Marine mantle. Somebody got to I guess. I mean, other than like everybody else that we play with, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Well, we, there's not too many Space Marine players, and if they are, they're usually different flavors. Like, they're the like Space Wolves. Um, I don't know anybody else playing Black Templars, honestly. Well, two of my matches were Templars. Mm -hmm. Did you did you like their their uh, army comps, or did you prefer yours? Regardless of winning or losing, right? It's just like, you know. Yeah, I did have to deal with... Uh, I know one of them I had to deal with Terminators. So that was... But I... I'm, I'm, I melted him pretty easily. But then he had like a bunch of other stuff mm. as well. So it was more of the counterpunch then? Yeah. Yeah. I, I only had... Uh, yeah, bo bo both of them only had one Redemptor, which I was able to deal with pretty easily. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. I honestly like. I feel like there's some crazy list somebody could build with Black Templars where it's like a whole vehicle list because oh, everyone's got a five up invul. Ha ha! Like on vehicles, that's nasty. But who knows? That's probably doable. I'm also uh, kind of toying with the idea of uh, not using troops as like a attack mm -hmm. at all. Just getting like a some infiltrators, just kind of sit on shit. Mm -hmm. in the back or whatever i don't know infiltrators are clutch in my opinion because they, they they zone out so much of your backfield like if you bring two i i almost always try to bring two units of infiltrators but i usually play ultramarines so that's easier to do that than like with black templars where you want everybody going forward you know yeah yeah i'm still figuring it out i think for the for the league at least i'll probably just play the same yeah. list. And no i think that's good yeah because, like, you play the same list, like, 10, you, you, I mean, that's the problem. People, like, that was my problem, too, back in the day. It was, like, I'd play one list, and then I'd play a completely different list, and I wouldn't end up internalizing anything. So. Just be like, oh, this sucks. Something new. Yeah. yeah. Right. Bored. I did, uh, I, I, I did raid the, uh, the used bin a little bit, so. Oh, yeah? Any I good got, finds? Got some, well, got some infiltrators. Nice. Just one, one group. I uh, snagged a couple of loose uh, Don Eagle bikes. And Solid. then I... What else did I get? I got it all right here still. So yeah. Infiltrators, a couple bikes. I got the captain with uh, the heavy bolt rifle. Oh, nice. So you can just like sit back and uh, no-scope psychers. Pretty much. Those witch seeker nice. bolts. Uh, I got the... Um, uh, the Gene Stealer icon dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. The, the one with the little banner. The flag man? Yeah. Since I did buy the um, the Shadow Throne box, which I plan to paint up for, you know, my other show. And possibly do like a sell-off or giveaway or something like that. Hey, cool. And then I finally got my uh, Venatari back from Dom that we bought from China like two years ago. So. <laughs> 
Yeah. Jen. Yeah, he and he. Uh, yeah, so he he was with the uh, the AOS crew mm. that time around and got himself uh, demolished Saturday night. <laughs> yeah, I heard Saturday was quite was quite a thing. Did you guys go to the strip for that? No, we we never left. I I know uh, so I I guess like they 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 try to do the uh, the pub crawl thing. Mm-hmm. So that there's like the one sports bar that's kind of in the middle of the hotel, which is near like all the um like the dice and blackjacks and all that stuff like that. Yeah. So they started there. They tried to go to another bar that was closed because, you know, seasons. Uh, twice, actually. They tried to go to, like, two different places. And then Dang. I know, like, some people just, I guess, like, got in a shuttle or bus or whatever and went off to the strip. But, yeah, by, by the time I went downstairs, I mean, they were already gone anyway. Mm. And I just ended up meeting up with uh, our guys at the, um, like, the other kind of nicer bar. Nice. Or whatever. And then uh, Dom, while he was still, you know, with us. <laughs> Coherent. He, yeah, no, I guess, like, some, like, old lady thought he was cute and gave him, like, 60 drink tickets. Oh, my God. Yeah, just, like, a whole stack. And they were good, too. We Damn. It's like, all right. So, drink up, boys. <laughs> drank for free at least one night. That's nice, man. And then I also... uh and also, what one one actual nice thing about the Rio is, uh, on the strip, there's no room for any dispensaries at all. But there, yeah. there's like two that are a couple blocks away. So, oh, nice. Or not even. So I ended up uh, hitting up one whenever I got in that night. Cause I, I I think I got there like nine ish. Can you can you walk around? Uh, the street slash in the casino and smoke weed. Uh, probably not. Technically right? no. Technically no. Yeah. Because there, there there is a. St- I I remember I when I was checking in at the Rio and I'm assuming this is at every hotel. There mm. is a stipulation saying like, you know, hey, if if we catch you with uh, any form of uh, or, or there are no illegal drugs, including marijuana, because federally. Obviously, and they're like, "Yeah, we'll we'll ask you. We we could you could be asked to leave." Yeah, but also at the same time, I mean, like I've heard stories of people just like lighting up a blunt, but, yeah. but like like famous people, like be real. Yeah, I know. Famous. Yeah. <laughs> like what 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 are you gonna do? <laughs> yeah, I'm richer than God. Shut up. <laughs> but, I'm gonna dismantle an ancient bridge to get my yacht through it. No big deal. Yep. Yeah, I I heard about that one. That's bullshit. Unbelievable! <laughs> like he just—I mean, he's like clear. He Speaking just of French, give a shit <laughs> anymore. He's just like, yeah, I'm, I'm tapped out of pretending to care about humanity. I mean, they—they could have said like, eh, no. But then he's like, ah, here's like your entire budget for the next two years. I kind of doubt uh, it. Okay. <laughs> I feel like he didn't actually pay anything for that. Oh, there's no way they would have let him do it if, if like, he didn't pay up. Maybe. Like, I mean, like, I what mean, is it? Hitler what are the didn't more... pay up. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of, I feel like the context is slightly different there. Slightly. Just just a hint. Careful. Very don't small. end up like, what? don't end up like Whoopi. <laughs> one, one, one has more hair. <laughs> <laughs> hey But no, I... So I I ended up uh, stopping at a uh, uh, the closest dispensary was a like a, one of those really nice fancy one a place called Cookies definitely uh, definitely geared more mm-hmm. towards like a like a hip hop crowd because everything's like you know bright lights and you know candy flavors and stuff like that but they had a two for one deal on gummies so I was like yeah fuck it yeah dude gummies are legit so. that's probably the only form I'd ever actually like do with any kind of regularity yeah i don't i mean i i I still smoke every once in a while but it is kind of a pain in the ass because like you gotta keep it uh aerated or go outside or whatever for me it's like like like, you know yeah grind up everything and pack it in and do all that shit whereas the gummy just done yep done yeah and that's part of it but like for me it was just like what 
every time I've smoked weed, I just feel like shit afterwards. Like, it doesn't agree with me, really. But whenever I've done a gummy, I've always been like, this is what I was looking for. Yeah. This is the this is what I was promised. No, I did uh I did double up that first night. So <laughs> cuz of course. Yeah, why not? Just get uh, just walk around and be like what the fuck. <laughs> well, and uh the nice thing with uh the indica gummy or anything that's indica based is with enough of it, it'll it'll put me out really hard for a short amount of time. So I never had like a problem being late or anything like that. Hmm. It al- it also helped that uh, the first round started at ten instead of nine, like I thought. Oh, okay, so yeah. This was like, oh, I can get breakfast. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, oh, sweet. But it, it does suck. Li- literally, the only food that they had at the hotel was the catered breakfast mm. for the event. But I feel I feel like the food was bigger. Okay. At this than it was over at Bally's, because I mean it, it was still like kind of the same uh, stuff. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean it's it's all through Caesars, so yeah, it's like the same catering, whatever. But I will say like their burgers were thicker; they were at least like half an inch. Ooh, that's maybe actually more for like buffet burgers. That's pretty good because normally it's you're gonna see like that either smash style or just mm-hmm. just stupid thin. And it's like, all right, well, I'm going to get three of these patties and y'all can keep your looks elsewhere. I mean, it was only single patty each one, but yeah. <laughs> I, although, I, admittedly, it's also been a couple years since my last one, so I don't even remember what the previous food was like. Mm-hmm. But but no, then the only things that were uh, open in the hotels, they had a uh, they, they had like a Chinese restaurant that was kind of like your, uh, your regular price oof type of thing which is okay yeah i had it i had it after my first night when i was just fucking blasted out of my gourd already just like i'm high as fuck (laughs) i don't know where anybody is yet and i need to go eat something (laughs) yeah so but then uh they also had a uh korean barbecue that Mm. uh, i went with uh after finals actually i went with uh adam john and jeff Oh, nice. That was pretty good. Legit. It was expensive, but... Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. That's yeah. Vegas for you, though, too. Well, we, we also got, like, the most expensive combo. Oh, yeah. Too, Probably so it. it was, like, 80 bucks a person, but, the, I mean, they even had, like, the lady, you know, did everything. Nice. For us there, too. Oh, there you go. You didn't have to cook your own food, at least. Right. And I was yeah. stoned on a gourd, too. Is it just like, what's going on? <laughs> How much? Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ah, that's awesome. That was a good time. I got to kind of meet some of the uh, other... Uh, uh, what's the word for people who are far away? Disparate team team members? Oh, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah, I don't know what the right word would be, but yeah, that's cool. Oh, yeah. And I'm already, uh, I'm already paid into the next GT, so... Yeah. Oh, Heart Crusher? No, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll have to check that out. But no, I'm going to a Dice Hammer next month. Oh, nice. Cool. In a month. In a Probably month. the same list. I I am currently signed up for Heart Crusher at Gameology, but I may not go. If it doesn't look like there's not enough people going to be going, I may not go just also because it turns out it's also Super Bowl Sunday. Mm. And I'm like, I kind of like watching it, so I'm like, may not do that um or if i play and i'm if i'm like doing crappy on sunday or yeah i know i'm not gonna win anything i'll just be like all right i'm gonna peace out depending upon like whenever i want it when is it that's at the end of this month isn't it no that is a week from tomorrow oh. i don't know i think i'm already Are you listening to this show and thinking, man, I'd like to start a podcast, but I don't even know where to start? Well, Buzzsprout has the answers for you. Buzzsprout is a podcast hosting service that provides a number of valuable resources to help you on your podcasting career path. For one, 
Buzzsprout offers indefinite hosting of all your episodes and allows you to host as much material as you want, depending on the type of subscription that you opt for. Buzzsprout also provides a means for getting your show hosted to every major podcasting platform such as iTunes, Pandora, Spotify, you name it. In addition, Buzzsprout also provides various means to get your show monetized through various sponsorship and affiliate programs, links to other paid hosting platforms such as Patreon and YouTube, and your own personal newsroom to learn all the tips and tricks for optimizing your podcast for the greatest return on your investment. If you're hearing all this and you're still interested, you can go to my link below and receive an, and receive an Amazon gift card for starting a podcast hosting subscription that you'll receive on the second billing period of your podcast journey. Everyone has something to share, and there's no time like the present. Join Buzzsprout today. Okay, back, take a little quick break from me and Tom. Uh, don't know why I'm wearing my headphones, but I'm going to keep wearing them because I don't really need them. And I still got my beer out of the stand. There we go. Still got my beer. Half full horn. Full flat. I had this out last night, but whatever. That's how you do. Single life. Bachelor. Oh, man. To try to do solo episodes again, it's gonna be tough. I think they're probably gonna be shorter. I'm not gonna have these uh, hour long apps, at least not for a while, but we'll see. Anywho, what we are going to do right now is we're going to get into our favorite segment post apocalypse some articles about the world, mostly of entertainment, which is the world as far as I'm concerned. So let's see what we have up first. First one, John Bernthal's Punisher will return to the MCU. This is, he officially, ooh, I'm going to see, <laughs> said yes to the uh, Punisher dress, I guess. So he's coming back. I know he'd been kind of back and forth, and we mentioned it. Actually, Tom and I talk about it, I think, in this episode, actually. If not now, it's going to be coming up real soon. But he's coming back, uh, and we've already got Daredevil back, who apparently he's been signed on. And also, well, a lot of this has to do with the fact that the uh, the contract for Netflix is finally expiring. And actually, another thing that I don't have an article of, but uh, they came out since we recorded everything, or for this episode, is that Netflix is actually going to be removing all of their old Marvel series. And I'm assuming that means that Disney Plus is going to pick up everything again, but, you know, who knows. So, yeah, we're getting the Punisher back, and that's great. Oh, and we had the Kingpin back, kind of, already. So hopefully he'll be doing a bigger role moving forward, other than just getting his ass kicked around by a girl, a little girl. Next up, uh, Brie Larson and Jeremy Renner are getting their own Disney Plus series. Now, this does not; th these are not. Um, I did read a little bit down, just because I was curious, and these are not uh, Marvel-related things. It's they're 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 kind of more. Uh, well, they're more like a documentary type of thing. Thing, yeah, they're unscripted shows. Let me see. You know what? Let's actually. So Larson's series uh, called Growing Up. And Jeremy Renner has a series called Renovations. Whatever. I, I, they're, they're like some kind of pseudo reality type of TV stuff. I have no idea what they're about. I'm assuming Renovation sounds like it has to do with like houses or something like that. But, you know. <clears throat> Damn it. Good for them, I suppose. Next up, this one was a bit of a surprise. LOTR, The Rings of Power. First images reveal young Galadriel and Elrond. I'll send them right there. 
Uh, I did not know that this was in the works at all. It's going to be on Amazon. Nice. Uh, but yeah, th this I guess is following the uh, uh, the Silmarillion, which is kind of like the uh, it was like an anthology book of stories or whatever, basically about the history of like the creation of uh, the Lord of the Rings world and uh, up until Lord or uh, up until the Hobbit, basically. And it's about how you know the elves. Well, I, I guess it follows uh, Galadriel and Elrond and uh, the kingdom, uh, the Numenorians, which are like the before men, humans, basically. They live longer, which is what Aragorn is. He's kind of like the last one in the movies, but this will be it'll be interesting to see how this goes because, well, as you remember in the movies. Elrond was played by Hugo Weaving, it's the older one, and uh, Galadriel was, uh, fuck, Kate Blanchett, that's her name. But it should be an interesting series, hopefully it does good. And uh, let's go back to Marvel a little bit. Owen Wilson confirms return as Mobius for Loki season two. So it's good. So they're going to do more there. And it also makes sense because, as I mean, as we discussed before, discussed before, <clears throat> uh, Loki was originally meant to be twice as long, and then for whatever reason they decided to cut it down into or like cut it in half, basically. I think uh, COVID had a lot to do with it. They just had like too many, uh, you know, things. Oh, Cody Rog. <clears throat> Sorry, it's still early for me, and oof, I did uh, bench press for the first time in a while, so hurting, but yeah, so I guess there was a uh, <coughs> COVID shit kind of prolonged or delayed filming a lot, so they just decided it was easier to just like get the first half done, get that out the door, and save the second half for later, and they can you know, build anticipation, get some more stuff in between. So that's cool. And last but not least, uh, getting into music, which we haven't really done for a while. Uh, Disturbed vocalist says musicians need to stop complaining and educate themselves on streaming services. So this is kind of come in the wake of um, people like leaving Spotify because of the whole <clears throat> Joe Rogan thanks or i like you need to get rid of him or i'm taking all my music off spotify which which of course they were just like all right bye see ya and um well then it turns into uh a lot of artists who are trying to say like oh well i'm actually leaving because streaming it, like i'm protesting streaming services now all of a sudden which and I, I mean, he, he does make a point, uh, David Draymond here, he's the vocalist of Disturbed, which they don't actually say. Oh, let's, uh, yeah, there he is. Iconic. But, um, so he, he does, he, he does, uh, uh, concede the fact that a lot of streaming services, like, they, they could pay better. I mean, they were able to, ch they're, they're able to pay Rogan a hundred, was it 20 million? every year for five years which is a hefty chunk of change so like they, they have the money to you know pay their artists a little bit more but at the same time he uh basically went, so i i actually read this article right even though i'm not supposed to that's not the point of the show but the point being is that because the the only reason that uh streaming really exists now in the form that it does is because uh one thing i wasn't really truly aware of was when Napster back in the day was built or brought up, whatever, they, uh, the guys who made Napster had actually approached many, um, <clears throat> like all the major record labels and said like, Hey, we have this tech for you to, uh, like you, you could make a subscription service. We can make a subscription service for you, uh, in which you could use to basically allow people to 
listen to all the music that you guys have on the label for, you know, a price or whatever, whenever they want, whatever they want, whatever's on your label. And every single, every single label said, eh, fuck off. So they were like, all right, well, you fuck off. We're going to do everything for free. So Napster came out in the form that we knew back in the day. And then later on, like a bunch of torrent sites came up once uh, they finally managed to shut Napster down and Pirate Bay. And it, it was just, it was just a mess, right? And the thing is, like, a lot of uh, labels, basically, like, everybody stopped making money at all. Most of the major record labels were about to collapse. But then, you know, streaming came along. And, you know, things are kind of back. Not the best. It is still harder to support yourself as a musician, for the most part. Because, like, you're still not making anywhere near as much money as... You would want to, right? And like the the gap between you know most musicians and like the mega stars, or like the very popular ones, is it's always getting bigger. Which is, I mean, the same like with actors or anything else in entertainment, right? But I mean, the point he's making is, you know, like we, we, you could have this could have been adopted and made better a long time ago, but it wasn't, and now this is what we're stuck with. You have to learn how to deal with it, and how it helps right instead of just complaining 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 and not really doing anything other than just going to you know shitty shows or whatever or booking shitty gigs also uh disturb doesn't had anything out in a while so hopefully they'll i wonder if we'll see something from them sometime in the future i know he did a um he did a collab with uh lita ford I think it was recently, or no, Nita Strauss. So L L Lita's old, <laughs> old news, and old too. I guess I'm sure she looks fine. But, <clears throat> anyways, that's Mr. Draymond still out there, still doing his thing. Much like we are still doing our thing, and that's all the articles I have for you for today. I had six, which I normally do, but one of them, I uh, ended up being up busted link or whatever something happened with the website so it's out and it was just a daredevil one anyway apparently he knows he, he kind of like he has an idea of what he, he it, it sounded so apparently he was saying that he might be a part of marvel for like the next 10 years so there's a lot of stuff that we don't know about coming up but it's coming so that's cool and uh much like we don't know what's coming with Marvel, I don't know what's coming with this show, but there should, there will be more coming. That's all I can promise you. So, gonna go ahead and go back to me and Tom and finish out for the week. So, once again, stay tuned to the end of the episode. Check out my website; it's there at the end, and all my other links. So, like my socials, everywhere else that this podcast is, and the other playlists on my YouTube channel here. Which, if you go into the corner, you could like and subscribe and check out all my stuff. So stay tuned, and we will see you again very soon. Got something going on. Oh, and then, um, actually, now that I mention it, we did, or I did venture out once, at least. I, I ended up going out with, uh, 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 Janevsky and Ishmael. Oh, fun. To, uh, we found a spot over in Chinatown, which is, like, just north of our hotel on that side of the, mm -hmm. uh, what should we call it? Yeah, we, we, we found, like, a little Japanese restaurant on, like, a what one of those like downstairs upstairs plaza type things this is legit oh okay yeah like old japanese men in suits oh it's really good yeah <laughs> good oh, enough for shit. them is good enough for us yeah 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 the fact that i don't know if you're an overworked member of of japanese capitalism or that you're yakuza is perfect i don't need to know just don't don't move your sleeves oh yeah but yeah that that one was really good 
Nice. And it wasn't wasn't too pricey, and I saved it on Yelp, so I got it for uh, next time I go or whatever. Oh, good. There you go. Although I I, I do still have to uh, figure out that burger restaurant that Quan used to like. You remember that one? Oh yeah. No, you ask him, he'll know immediately what you're talking about. Yeah, that I remember when we went. Yeah. That, that first time, it was legit. The uh, the Korean burgers or whatever. Mm-hmm. Asian fusion. No, I remember that being amazing. <laughs> like, we step cow with bamboo. <laughs> Fusion. <laughs> <laughs> Before or after he, the cow was killed? What difference? <laughs> During. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Before or after he died? Because. What? <laughs> like, after is just wrong. <laughs> it's because of bamboo that cow went from living to dead. Yes. Adds more flavor, fear, and terror. Tenderizes uh, me. <laughs> and, well, other news, my uh, day job that I had ended Wednesday night. Oh, man. So I'm, uh, I'll miss the money, but uh, I won't miss the uh, lack of time. There you go. So, and I know they're, they're still trying to uh, license out to get, like, a second season or whatever. So if that happens, I'll hopefully be you know on top of the uh the pile for rehires or whatever but when that is who knows yeah that's that's just that's just production yeah. stuff that's I, you know never know when that's gonna happen well i i know they did kind of get uh uh way late a bit because they oof i know they, they they sent um i know i know they sent some material to like a third like another studio to make it like a sizzle demo reel for the show and apparently when they got it back it was just shit so like all right well we got to do this ourselves now it's like there's more time down the drain how do you fuck up a sizzle demo reel i feel like that's just easy it's just taking somebody else's work and cutting it well if you got one guy with like no time <laughs> yeah, i don't I know it's true i have no idea but apparently it sucks so now they're still working on that hmm. and but yeah, it, it sh so I don't know. Hopefully, we'll see. And then I know uh, one of my uh, one of my friends just got hired at Marvel, so I'm gonna have to lean on that. Yeah. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Yeah. What's going on? You uh, working on any cool Marvel stuff? <laughs> you know, I I I like Marvel. It's the best of all all the book comics. Yes. It's my favorite manga. <laughs> <laughs> out, get out. <laughs> yeah. You know who my favorite Marvel character is? It's Batman. Yeah, probably right. next. Probably next would be uh, Superman. <laughs> got, got your Batman, Superman, your Wonder Woman, man, Stretchy Man. <laughs> you got your Green Goblin Lantern, bro. Uh, <laughs> Green Lantern, <yeah>. man. <laughs> that would be hilarious if you just like went into like a job interview for like DC Bubba or Gump Marvel. Comics. <laughs> oh, just mix up. It's like, oh, so what was your what was your favorite comic? Oh, you know, actually, like I remember reading as a kid. I think my favorite comic was when Peacemaker came in and just beat the shit out of Wolverine after he was done having connected with his long lost son Batman. And I thought that was really cool. It was a combination of like how comics could make you feel things and then the violence. Although I really did not find the you know the Hulk having sex with the moon very tasteful I understood what it was in context but you know and just watch them slowly go like what the fuck <laughs> that would be hilarious <laughs> like uh, we're closing this position <laughs> yeah. um, we're gonna have to ask you to leave because we all want to die now yeah right <laughs> we have not done our job <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we have failed <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, uh, speaking of Marvel, I did see a couple interesting things. Apparently, uh, uh, John Bernthal finally said yes to being Punisher again. Thank God. So we'll see how that works out. Because I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure on like how they did the Kingpin, but we'll see. I mean, obviously he doesn't die. There's no way. No. There's the the fact that yeah. they cut away is their way of being like 
haven't sussed out that contract yet, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Just gonna be like, oh, my head. Yeah, it's like, I am invulnerable to pretty much fucking everything. I'm Vincent D'Onofrio. Yep. Uh, and then the second thing that I saw is apparently uh, whatever the next Avengers movie is going to be, it's going to be uh, Zack Snyder. Because they probably love his director's cut. And we're like, we're sorry yeah. Warner Brothers shafted you. Come yes. play with us, Snyder. Play with us. Come to uh, hey. the light and cookies. I know. As long as he doesn't make every, as long as he doesn't do that DC style, but keeps his just keeps the the good direction, I'll take it. Yeah, I mean they're they're de- well, I mean I, I liked his DC style, but yeah, there there definitely needs to be, especially now that everything's <sighs> going to be all uh, multiversal and shit. There definitely needs oh, yeah. to be um some weirdness Which, in there. Oh yeah. Oh, no. actually, there were three things that I found out. They also, uh, I guess the. So you know how like the new Ant Man, or no shit, uh, Guardians Three, the bad yeah. guy is going to be the High Evolutionary, and they have someone cast for that as well. Who I don't know. You're not talking about Adam Warlock, right? That's a different character. Warlock, somebody else. Yeah, because no. he's in that movie too. Nice. And and he's got he's uh. I forget his name, um, but he was cast by like some younger actor, yeah, which is a yeah, surprising yeah. cast. But hey, it works. If it works, it works, right? I think. Well, well, yeah. Because I mean, have you seen what that guy looks like now? Will Port, Will, <laughs> Will Poirier. I think Portier, it was his name. or Will Port, or Poulter. Poulter, that's right. I haven't, no, <laughs> I haven't seen what. It looks like. yeah. What do you mean? Like, as in, like, what he looks like right now? Yeah, go see what he looks like right now. It's like, oh, this isn't like some retarded-looking kid anymore. That's um, uh, that's a man. <laughs> yeah, he, he done growed up. Yeah, he looks good now. Definitely, he, he's that's Adam Warlock, straight yeah, up. Yeah, that, that's Adam. Mo- yeah, I can see that. Minus like the fucking thing in his uh, forehead or whatever, which oh, they yeah. probably won't be doing for this one because the Infinity Stones are gone, kind of. For yeah. now, maybe, but no, they um, what was it? No, the, the high evolutionary. He was, he's either an X Men or a Fantastic Four bad guy. I don't remember exactly like who he originally. Uh, high evolutionary. Yeah, but it, his whole thing is, he's like, I'm going to advance life no matter what the cost. And at least now he has like a, like an opposite yeah. spinning earth with like an army of animal people. Crab Good times. people. Crab yeah. people. Well, you got your uh, crab people and your tiger people and your boar people and your yeah. <laughs> alligator Slaps people. Earth. This thing yeah. can fit so many peoples in it. Uh, he was his first, just fun fact, his first appearance was he was mentioned in mighty thor uh 133 and then appeared in mighty thor 134 which came out in october and november of 1966 okay well i don't know what i'm talking about then but i mean maybe he does have the counter earth thing yes uh maybe he's part of i mean i could see him as being part of that because i know thor is in it and maybe that's going to be a setup for the the last Thor movie or the not last Thor movie. I don't know. I don't fucking know how many movies there are. Well, no, because he, he's going to be in Guardians three is where he's introduced. Right, but Thor is right. in Guardians three too. Because oh. remember, he gets on the well, he gets on the ship. Remember, yeah. there's that whole like, like. But remember, I'm still the captain. He's like, oh, of course. Well, oh, I mean, uh, unless I wouldn't be surprised if uh, uh, Love and Thunder, like the beginning of the movie is them like he just like comes back to earth with the guardians and they just kind of like drop him off or something like that yeah i don't know we'll see i forgot about love and thunder so yeah. maybe or maybe he's in both and we just don't know or i don't know probably i mean i was well i i know he's 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 in his own movie i know that much. well i met the high evolutionary yeah i met the oh, high evolutionary maybe both. maybe the, and they've only announced he, they've only he'd be in for... end credits type of thing for... because uh the the bad guy for 
uh, Thor 4 is going to be gore. And he's going to be played by Christian Bale. Gore is the... What was he again? Gore the God like, Butcher. Ah. Uh, he's just like this super buff dude or whatever. Yes and no. So, I have... Uh, of the series that I do have, I do have uh, Gore's story arc. <sighs> so, he is... I, well, I, I'm sure the movie's going to be completely different in this regard, but at least in the comics, he's... He's an alien, straight up, right? Oh yeah, I see the picture from, uh, and the planet that he's from, because like like every uh, civilization and society or whatever in the Marvel universe has its own, generally has its own pantheon of deities mm-hmm. or whatever, and the gods of his world basically just decided like, oh, we don't really need to do anything from these people anymore. They exist to basically just give us everything. So mm. the gods of his uh, world or whatever basically just took everything. Ah, uh, I Consistently, see. right? So everybody was basically just like... They, his race basically went extinct, almost. Like, I think he's actually the last one Yeah, who's, like, starving to death. And then he somehow came upon, like, the, the remnants of, uh, like, a battle between one of his deities and, like, some other entity... Mm-hmm. That I think was like somewhat symbiotic, maybe maybe somehow related to like where Venom come from. Hmm. I, don't, I don't I don't remember the exact explanation, but the thing like basically kind of takes him as a host, and then all of a sudden he's like revitalized and has the power to kill like any deity, and basically goes on a rampage across space, just killing every god that he can find mm-hmm. until he. Runs into Thor and company. Yeah. And I, I think, if I remember right, he's the one who... His design ta- looks sick. Yeah. I, I think... I think... Because I know Thor, at one point, gets his arm cut off, and he has to have it replaced with one of the uh, uh, the Destroyers robot. Mm. You remember that thing from the first movie? I yeah. think he's the one who does it. But... Huh. I don't remember exactly, but yeah. So it, it'll, it'll be interesting. As Christian Bale. Yeah, I'll, I mean, Christian Bale's an insane actor, so yeah. he's gonna, you know, hopefully he does it really, really well. That'll well, really I mean, cool. and everything's still, you know, Fahey and John Favreau, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. Mr. Fahey? Um, no, that's dope. Speaking of Dave, uh, Dave, no, uh, fuck. Favreau. Batista? Oh, <laughs> Uh, did you say Favreau? Or I'm Favreau. Right yeah. Favreau, yeah. Speaking of Favreau, have you been watching... Uh, Boba Fett? Boba Fett. Yes. You want to talk about episode six? Have you not was that Was that this me. Wednesday? I haven't, I haven't the, seen that was six. This, that, was, that, was this, that was this Wednesday. This five, five is the one where they brought uh, Din Djarin back, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. And six so. is... Have you seen six I, yet? I haven't, I haven't seen six yet. Oh my god! I thought I thought uh, when the fuck did I watch then? I I, I must have caught up on Tuesday then. Yeah, if you yeah. haven't seen, yeah, let's let, yeah, if you haven't seen episode, Shit. you you would know exactly what I'm talking about. Shit, I'm surprised you haven't gotten it spoiled for you already. The sixth the uh, finale. Or are they actually? It's, no, it's no, it's not. Uh, I'm actually. I think there are not enough episodes in this show, but I'm hoping there are. How many episodes? Boba Fett. So I think the other shows had eight. He said there will be seven. There will be seven episodes. So ah. next week's is the last one, and it's like, bruh, bruh. So is it, is it just kind of like a? Star Wars fan service jerk off fest, kind of. Um, there you go. It was amazing though. It was very well done, but still, it was fucking awesome. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely have to uh, catch up on that after this, probably. Yeah. No, you should. It's legit. But yeah, they, they did also kind of threw me off because I I thought that the um, uh, what should we call it, like the the present timeline was from. Before he goes out and 
uh, seeks out the Mandalorian. Oh no no no! It's after Mandalorian. Show, yeah, so that was, was like, wait wait, well, hold on, what? It was because right. that was that was that was revealed at the end of Mandalorian season two, where Boba comes back to Jabba's palace and Bib Fortuna's like, oh hey Boba, how's it going? And Boba just like fucking kills him and sits on the throne. And then it was like the book of Boba next year, and I like flipped my shit. And I know people have had their issues with some of the parts of the show, and. I mean, part of me is like, I don't know. Part of me, I get it, but I still really enjoy it. I get the complaints, but I, I really like the show, I, even without, even with everything. So it just, that's just how I feel about it personally. I just, and the, the episodes are so well done that it like, like the complaint with the last two episodes, this is the only spoiler I'll give. The complaint with the only the last with episodes five and six is that there's not enough Boba in it. Obviously, five he's not in it at all. Six it's not enough, and it's like, huh? It's crazy how this show is called Book of Boba Fett, and you know he's kind of missing from almost a third of his own show. But at the same time, the storytelling there's when you reasons look at for it, it. There's reasons for it, but it makes me pissed off that there's only seven episodes. Hmm. It's like, come on, why didn't you get to eight or nine? right like just like get like tease this out a little bit i mean add a little more of the story i mean unless they end it so fittingly that's just my current only complaint is like this is supposed to be a show about him but i totally get why the last two episodes were written why they were it was important for the story and i think it's also important for the other shows that are going to come after like i feel like we're gonna it's Kind of like what Marvel is doing, mm-hmm. where Marvel had movies and shows, and it, you have, have to kind of watch them certain order, and it's like, okay, I totally get why they waited to have this show now, and like why the next season of it may never happen, or it'll be like way down the line, right, of like of when things take place because of all the other stuff that has to happen. So like, I get it; it's necessary from a storytelling perspective. But that said. Holy fuck, it was so good. <laughs> like, episode five obviously was amazing. You saw that. Yeah. I mean, especially, too, because it went back to, like, the gritty, like, season one Mando where he's just like, I have nothing to love. I'm pissed off. I'm going to kill all you motherfuckers. But I'm still kind of an idiot. <laughs> uh, no, it was legit. Oh, I also didn't realize, apparently, that uh, Bad Bad Show is already out there too bad batch is really good i would also go see that i actually wanted to watch i wanted to watch it and i made myself watch the entire clone wars show first uh just because i wanted to i also wanted to catch up on star wars um so i'm i'm right now i've kind of paused on rebels because there's been a bunch of shit i've been watching but rebels is the the only other star wars show i need to finish that Mm -hmm. i can think of but apparently you have to finish rebels in order to really get behind ahsoka because whatever that show is deals with the aftermath of that. But yeah, we're not going to see that for a while because I think the next show coming out for Star Wars is the Obi-Wan show. Mm. Yes. Yeah. I don't know when that's going to be because they, they got uh, uh, what's his face back for that, didn't they? McGregor? They got they got McGregor, yeah. Nice. And they got and Hayden Christensen too. Oh boy. Oh, I mean, everyone's actually like happy he's coming back because I think, like, yeah. Don't fuck it fact, up again. <laughs> no, I mean, that wasn't his fault. That was True. the fact that Lucas Lucas was a terrible character director. That's why Ewan McGregor was amazing, because Ewan McGregor doesn't need any direction. Like, and his character was, like, he created it, so it was perfect. Um, but from what I had heard, and he, he, like, that, his casting, he needed to be more directed and led, and he wasn't. And some actors are like that. They really rely on their director. But I think a lot of the fans, especially given how much hate the sequels got, are like looking back at the prequels and being like, maybe we were too harsh. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. There's still a lot of awfulness to the prequels. But, eh, you know, there's I, most of us now look at them like with a bit of fondness. At least I do. I don't remember if... Uh, I, I don't remember if you were on here yet already, but I do... I, I know I talked about on this show at least about how they 
there, there I, I I saw an article about how they really missed like good opportunity for those prequels to have like a like a liberal versus conservative stick going for them with a Jedi and the mm-hmm. Sith. But I I don't think I've ever heard any articles or theories about them writing that way. I mean, the irony of of keep politics out of my my Star Wars if I were to say that is that literally or anything. all yeah. or anything but for literally the prequels Star Wars politics plays like a huge part and that was part of the reasons why they didn't work is because Lucas wanted to tell like the history and the story and the politics and the Senate is like it's like that shit made way more sense in the Clone Wars show to do that you didn't need to do that too much in the shows maybe a couple glances into that world but not as entrenched as it was you know I think the the only thing that I really didn't like was uh, the first movie, and just the like, first movie was pretty bad. The whole uh, child Anakin, yeah, bullshit. Yeah, that guy, uh, that guy did not live a good life after that movie. Oh, I bet. No, he's he looks like a meth head now. Poor guy. I think he is a meth head. He might be. Jake Lloyd. Probably. Yeah. Now, now that you say it. I don't remember seeing that. There, there was a couple others that kind of went down that road too. Yeah, which hilariously, that same actor is in Jingle All the Way, which is the best Christmas movie ever made oh, with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sinbad. Fucking yeah, love that. Yeah, when movie. though? <laughs> I know. <laughs> but he was the kid was in that movie, and he was the typical annoying Christmas kid. But it wasn't as like he wasn't a bad. It wasn't a bad choice. It just like he was like, overshadowed by Arnold completely. So who yeah, cared? <laughs> exactly. And Sinbad. Uh, and Sinbad. This is a sick yeah. world we're living in with sick people. Um, I don't know, he, he's got his own problems too. That's all tax related though. Yeah. Yeah. That's... Apparently apparently he's he's taken the uh, the Wesley Snipes approach to taxes. Just get arrested. Like, well shit. This article says I don't have to pay my taxes. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah. Well that's the wrong one. Sorry, I put my I put myself in the wrong bracket. Not even that. It was, I think it was more just like "fuck Not, you" taxes. Just didn't file. Yep. Which is the but, dumbest thing you could do because if you make over a certain amount of money, not filing your taxes, like if you're if you're under a certain amount of money, I could totally see you getting away with not filing for like one or two years. Yeah. Although, if you decide to file again, the longer you wait, the more obvious it'll be you haven't. I feel like I don't know, but like when you're a, when you're pretty when you're loaded, <clears throat> making a decent chunk of change, and you decide to skip taxes, like I feel like there's like a trigger list, right? Where it's like, you know, we just got a dot, we just got a list of all the people we know in this country are rich, and, th- and they didn't file. Well, shit, that's easy to fix. <laughs> that's easy to find out real, real quick.